Meet Tom. Tom's in charge of 1,000 employees for his grocery delivery business in all of New England, where each of his employees makes 50 deliveries a day that must be made within a two-hour window. A very complicated scheduling issue, to say the least. Tom's team of data scientists help schedule everything using classical computing techniques. But even on the world's fastest computers, finding the optimal route would take years. As a workaround, Tom's company uses approximations in the form of heuristics to find a solution. This sounds like a decent option in theory. In practice, not so much. Because while Tom's company is relying on best guesses and getting closer than they would be if they just threw darts at a board, they're still far from a truly optimal solution and are losing money because of terrible inefficiencies. If they could just save one mile per truck per day, they'd save millions of dollars every year. And it's not just Tom's company where this is a problem. It's across almost every industry. Autonomous vehicles, airline routing, drug discovery, machine learning. Even the DoD faces these problems in order to dynamically calculate satellite, ship, and drone maneuvering. None of them can operate at peak efficiency for one simple reason. As powerful as our computers are, they're not nearly powerful enough to solve these problems quickly enough to make a difference. And that's because we're still relying on a fundamental computing framework that was developed over 75 years ago to decrypt secret German codes during World War II. Sure, we've made immense strides since then, but because our computers are still based on that initial framework, there's a limit to what they'll ever be capable of doing because there's a bottleneck in the flow of information as it passes from the computer's memory or RAM to the CPU and back out again to the RAM. No matter how fast a traditional computer is, it can't bypass that bottleneck. That's what the quantum computing hype is all about and why everyone's so excited about its promise of speeds far outstripping what we can imagine today. Quantum computers always seem to be 10 years away. In fact, they were 10 years away 10 years ago. So if you're waiting on quantum computing, good luck. However, scientists Fabio Traversa and Max Deventra have solved this problem. Inspired by the computational efficiencies of the human brain, these two theoretical physicists from UC San Diego spent years inventing a new technology called MEM computing. This novel computing architecture completely bypasses the bottlenecks faced by all computers today by leveraging what they call computational memory and transforms regular computers and supercomputers into super-duper computers. The world doesn't need to wait 10 more years for quantum computers. MEM computing is here today. It's currently free to evaluate in software and is disrupting the high-performance computing industry. MEM computing's approach not only solves Tom's problem, but extends to problems that are much more complex, from drug design and gene sequencing in life sciences, portfolio optimization in finance, demand forecasting for the energy industry, deep learning and neural network training in artificial intelligence, resource planning, distribution and logistics in supply chain, and more, allowing businesses to dramatically reduce costs, improve operational efficiencies, and increase profitability. MEM Computing optimized Tom's logistics and is saving him millions. Aren't you curious to see what MEM computing can do for you?